Missions Pulse. Know God's heart, join his mission. I was once um, uh, connected with a journalist, Andrew Marshall. He's in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. He's still in Bangkok today. And he sent me an email and said, I've heard about you. I was living in China at the time. He needed a translator to go across the border from China into Myanmar uh, because he was writing a book called The Trouser People. He wanted mm -hmm. a translator in Chinese because they all speak Chinese across the border. So I said, sure. I was 21 or so, spoke Chinese and became his translator, not realizing what I was getting into mm, with yeah, the bet. methamphetamine uh, production, distribution, human trafficking. And uh, so we snuck across the border from China into Burma, walked for three days in the rain. Oh, it was it was exhausting, but exhilarating. Yeah. And uh, I remember coming through this one valley. It was raining and misty, couldn't see, but a couple hundred feet in front of us. Suddenly the shape of a building came. We were in the jungle. Shape of buildings begin to form and then people, and we realized we walked into the finance department of the United Wa State yeah, Army. No, 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 no. A hundred, oh, hundred AK 47 toting child soldiers greeted us, got our passports, and we were detained there for some time. Finally got out of that, but that was my initial uh, connection with Wa and the United Wa State Army in Burma. I had gone many times to the former headhunting tribe in China. Yeah. And but because of that methamphetamine distribution and, and war all of them many i think it's last i heard was two or three hundred thousand wa redistributed to tachalek where close to where mm -hmm. the exco bookhouse bookstore is so that's my little story yeah. of the wa connection missions pulse know god's heart join his mission this podcast is powered by within reach global subscribe watch and listen on youtube today visit missionspulse.com